What's going on, guys? You know who it is. Uh, Mitwell's Tool Review here back again. So uh, picked up some new tools. Uh, went over there uh, to track the supply. Uh, I know another YouTuber <clears throat> by the name of Client Graphics. He went to uh, track the supply as well. And uh, I believe he picked up some of the same things I did, or at least he covered some of the things that I had covered in one of my earlier videos. But I stopped back by there again and kind of see what they had. And as a result, I picked up some cheap stuff, but, you know, just kind of playing around. They were on clearance, uh, so we grabbed them just to kind of add to the toolbox. I cannot wait to go get the new toolbox. A few more days, and we'll be bringing in a new toolbox. So hang with me. That's going to be an exciting video for you guys, for me personally, and hopefully for you guys as well. Um, but with that, I also went to my local thrift shop, which you guys know that I do. Picked up some cool stuff there. We'll cover that as well. And then last, I met a really, really cool dude on uh, Facebook Marketplace. He had some tools that I wanted really good, really bad. Um, he hooked me up with a great deal. Come to find out, he's actually a subscriber to the to the channel. I think he's uh, been following the channel for a while, so we'll throw him a shout out as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it and kind of see if I can track everything down. Because as you see, my, my work here is a freaking mess. And I'm trying my best to just kind of hold it together until I can get the new box brought in and go from there. So, um, you know, bear in mind, this is not how it normally looks. You guys know that. So the first thing that I I grabbed is this little cheap socket set. It goes from 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, all the way up to 19. I don't necessarily consider these low profile, although they kind of seem like they're supposed to be a low profile socket. Um, I got these from Tractor Supply. I believe they were like five forty nine. dollars um, And if you live by a TSC or a Tractor Supply, um, you probably can find these there. Um, it's by a brand called um, Tool For You. I don't know. Chrome Vanadium. It's got a unique um, brooch in there with those lines. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but I don't really think it does anything. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, it looks decent. The Chrome job on it is fairly decent. Um, but yeah, this is a little simple little socket. I thought, you know, why not? It's 549. I don't know that you can ever have too many sockets. Um, but if it broke, I wouldn't really care too much, but nice little set there. I will tell you, I did think they were low profile. That's why I initially grabbed them. The next thing that I grabbed, you guys knew I had this set of, um, Pittsburgh pro impacts half inch drive. Well, I got this magnetic rail from, um, um, tractor supply as well. Hopefully I don't drop it here. And, um, yeah, these, this rail is pretty nice. They're locking, twist lock mechanism, um, and it is magnetic. It is aluminum base, and it's got a magnetic strip underneath the bottom with a little bit of a felt so it doesn't scratch your box. And I'll show you guys here the strength. I mean, that pulls it pretty tight. So, yeah, I mean, that's got some, that's got some strength to it as far as how much magnetism that, that magnet has. So that's pretty good. Uh, I think those were like 249 or something like that. I, I am going to go back and get more because um, those are really nice magnetic strips. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. They're really nice. Um, oil picked up. I was helping uh, my brother-in-law do some brakes. So I picked up this uh, clamp, you know, the, uh, instead of having a proper caliper um, compressor or whatever, I you know, Go old school on it and go get the, the C clamp and use that. Um, let's see. Sorry, guys. I got a bit of a cold going on right now, too. So um, we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. You guys know about all of that stuff. Uh, nothing new on the top surface here. Um, okay. So I guess because we're here, we're going to talk about it. So what I did pick up, and hopefully I can grab them all. If I can see them. Yeah. So what we got here, guys, um, this is a shout out to uh, a new friend of mine, Josh, on uh, Facebook Marketplace. Josh, I hope you're seeing this video, man. Uh, I told you I would um, get the video out. But Josh hooked it up, man. He gave me a nice deal. 
uh, these Capri ratchets, um, you know, uh, Bearded CB or brand also known as Brandon or vice versa has done an excellent job at um, covering the, the quality of the Capri brand. Uh, and uh, Josh had this set. Uh, he doesn't use them very, or he didn't use them very often. Um, and he was looking to just kind of get rid of them and put some money in his pocket. So he gave me an awesome deal on these. Um, and I'm, I'm, real, I'm really excited. Um, I can tell you, um, let's, let's listen to the mechanism. It sounds good. Um, I don't have a new enough snap-on ratchet to really compare it, so I'm not going to do that because that would be unfair. Um, but I think the closest that I can equate this the gear mechanism to as far as feel would be uh, the Matco 88s. And I had brand new Matco 88s before I sold them. And, um, but I think that's what the closest feel is. The heads, you know, standard thickness here, which is whatever. Um, the selector is very positive. You know when you switch it. It's not too bulky, not too um, high. Um, so you don't, you know, it's not a real risk of um, contacting it when you're working in a confined space. Um, the tightness of the, uh, the head section here and the joint um, is really nice. I mean, it's really nice. I'm not going to try to shake it because that's really not telling you very much. They're basically brand new ratchets. So the question is, how well does that hold up after some, some real-time use? Um, here's another one here. This is also 3 h drive. There's your part number. Same operating. Very positive. Um, very uh, very um, nice ratcheting mechanism. Uh, very similar to the uh, Snap-on F80, I believe it is. Standard length F80 which I'm glad I have this now because I was looking at buying an F80 because as you guys know, I have, let's see here, maybe this would be a good comparison. This is a fairly new Snap-on. Let's see here, what this sounds like. Okay, maybe not as quiet as quiet, not as quiet as a Snap-on, but eh, you know, really, really good uh, nonetheless. But, um, uh, yeah, well, no, that's not the one I want to compare either. But anyway, uh, I was trying to find, I have an older style ratchet in here. Uh, uh, yeah, here we go. So this would have been the grandfather to the F80. This is the F936. And as you can tell, there's a lot of similarity there. Um, I mean, a lot of similarity. Look at that, I mean, right down to almost the length. Uh, and that's an F936. So I can only assume, although I don't have any F80s anymore, that the um, Capri Ratchet is probably very close, um, if not almost identical in size to that F80. And then last but not least, uh, he had a um, the quarter inch drive. There's your part number right there. Same setup as the uh, Big Brothers there. Very positive sound. This is a little bit more um, tingy of a sound, if you will. Crispier, crisper sound, I don't know. Um, and it may require um, some lubrication, I'm not real sure. Um, but overall, very, very nice construction. Very nice chrome, very nice fitment. The edges aren't sharp. They're Nice five thou edge break on there. Those who are machinists understand what I'm talking about. So really nice ratchets. I am really happy with these. So once again, a shout out to Josh. Josh, you're awesome, dude. Hopefully you and I will become good friends. Uh, welcome to Indiana. He's from New York. Um, so welcome to the to the Midwest, my friend. And hopefully we can link up sometime in the future uh, and just hang out and talk tools. Uh, really nice guy. We stood out in the cold for about 30 minutes or so talking about tools and YouTube channels and etc. Um, really nice dude. So um, once again, guys, if you look hard enough out there, you can find great deals like this. They're, they're not, they're, they are not too hard to find. Josh had a really cool price on these, a really good price on these. Um, and he was not afraid to um, go ahead and part with them because he wasn't really using them. So we now add that to our plethora of ratchets. Um, I feel like there's something else in here that I'm leaving out. Um, and I can't, I'm getting old, man. Today was a rough day at work and I am not 
But um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for this drawer here. Um, <clears throat> moving on. So I picked up, you guys know I'm all about the wrenches. So I picked up some cheap wrenches here. Here's an old Proto. Let me set this down. Here's an old Proto Professional. Um, I guess I was, because I have the Protos down there, I was like, oh, I'll get another Proto. Um, somebody did a little hack job there, but it's fairly thin. Um, three quarter and 11 sixteenths, um, fairly thin wrench. I don't know, will I ever need it? Probably not, but I figured why not? It was only like 25 cents. And I picked up this set of Napa Professional USA made wrenches. Um, I tried to find some of these online because there are missing a few sizes, like 10 and 16, um, but I couldn't. And uh, so if anybody has any of these Napa professionals, leave me a comment. Um, maybe I would want to buy them from you or do a trade of some sort, um, take them off your hands because I, I do like it. And I, they're Napa. I think they're you can warranty them out if need be. Uh, but this is my metric jar somewhere beneath all of these sockets, which are just temporarily placed at the moment. Um, so that's pretty much it. You guys know about everything else in this drawer, so we won't talk about that in the interest of saving time. Picked up uh, a set of uh, vice grips as well from uh, Tractor Supply. I think these were like eight bucks, seven bucks, something like that. Fairly cheap. But they're the Irwin brand. They're not the Peterson. The Peterson guys are the, the original ones. So look for Peterson up here in this emblem um, if you want the real original ply or vice grips. And you can tell because even though these are nice, um, the Petersons are much heavier. All right. Um, what else? I cleaned up this old uh, Snap-on uh, T30 Torx I had for a while. It was rusting out. I cleaned that up a little bit. I mean, really, that's not new, but you guys probably never seen it. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I have any new pliers. Uh, let's see. Nothing new in that drawer. Uh, man, somebody's got some base. Um, nothing really new in this drawer with the exception of this little... Uh, reversible ratchet. This is the same ratchet set. Um, damn. Clanking stuff together. And I'm not going to... Okay, yeah, I can. So, if you guys remember, you know, Snap-on's got their low-profile ratchet. I wanted one, too, but it was no way I was going to pay that kind of money for it. So, I picked up this Job Smart from Tractor Supply set. And it came... And it's not too bad. I mean... It's a cheap little ratchet, whatever. You know, I ain't going to see a lot of high torque. I got all the ratchets I need for high torque applications. But the sockets were also low profile. And this is a SAE set here. You know, chrome vanadium Chinese um, sockets or whatever. I don't think it's Taiwan. I wish it was Taiwan, but uh, I think it's probably made in China. Uh, let's see here. Made in Taiwan. Okay, they may have a little bit of quality to them. So scratch that. Uh, but anyway, here is the metric set. So it goes from 10 to probably 19. Comes with a ratchet as well. Um, this was, what, $549. And it's currently, it was originally $1599. Then they dropped it and dropped it and dropped it. Now it's $549. If you watch uh, any of um, Client Graphics videos, he tells you that they have a policy where I believe after 90 days, they rotate their um, products to the, from the front of the store to the back of the store and then they eventually start reducing the price uh, as they become on clearance. Um, so that's that. Uh, and then last, hopefully you guys aren't too burnt out of my voice here. Um, and I'm not feeling the greatest anyway. So I uh, picked up this box of just stuff. And it was something. That, oh, the wrenches were in here, so never mind. But anyway, this is just a bunch of random stuff that I picked up. Um you know, we talk about SK, you know, CP and all the guys last night. We were hanging out, talking on live stream. Great job with the live stream last night, CP, by the way, if you're watching this video. Um, and Harbor Free, or um, Heart Knox Forge. Um, but I picked up these this box of just random tools for a couple bucks. Here's an old SK916, 12 point, rusted all the hell. But you guys know, I'll put this in some muriatic acid and it'll change its life around. 
Uh, here's an old Husky. I don't know if it's just Husky USA. It looks like it may be um, one and one eighth, six point. Um, you know, it's rusty, half inch dry, but not beat up. So that'll certainly get put back into service. We'll get that cleaned up, polished out, and it'll be like a new a new uh, ratchet all, or a new tool all altogether. Um, here's a an old Cornwell. I don't think I own. Man, yeah, come on, focus. Why is that not focusing? Oh, there we go. Old Cornwell. This is a seven sixteenths. I believe this is impact based upon how it looks. Um, and I've got some Apex in here that are all rusted out. Now you guys look at this and you're like, oh my God, why would anybody pick that Apex or any tool up that looks like this? But here in a couple days, I'll show you why. Um, because I look at this and say, well, wait a minute now. Look at the quality of the of the broaching. It looks really good. It hasn't been beat up. It's been neglected. <laughs> but, you know, you could tell it's an impact socket. And it's got a little bit of wallering on there, but not a lot. Um, and uh, it's an apex, so it's a good old tool. So we'll clean that up, and I'll show you what they can look like. So I always try to find it. A lot of times guys pass these up, and they don't realize they're passing up Snap-on and other tools. And if you get the right brand, let's say, for instance, you do get a Snap-on that looks like this or an SK, you can warranty it out. I mean, it's going to be rusted. It's going to have lost some of its tolerance or its fitment. And as a result of that, it's not going to have the same tolerance that it once did, which means now it's no longer a 100% usable tool. And you can warranty that out. Um, and I've went through the process of verifying that through um, both Snap-on and SK, um, of which both manufacturers have um, uh, warrantied my tools without any question. Uh, here's a little SK quarter-inch drive ratchet. I already have one of these. Um, as you guys know, Silver S70 uh, did a trade with me on some tools, and um, as a result, he sent me some extra stuff, and here's a very nice um, representation of that SK quarter-inch drive, uh, which I love. You guys know me in SK, uh, and here's a, uh, let's say, a neglected representation. But we're going to clean it up. It is locked up. We're going to do a video all on this, and we'll tear it apart, take a look at it, and go from there. I think you guys will probably like that. Um, here's another socket, 15 mil. I've been picking up SK sockets forever. And I, I go to pawn shops. I go to thrift stores. I go anywhere. I think they sell a tool at for cheap. And I look for SK. You guys know how I am. Now, this is a mid-length, too. Um, I cannot ever find metric SK sockets. I always find um, SAE, and I found my very first metric one. Uh, really nice condition. Not be Look at that, guys. Let me just look at this. This is a testament. Now, you know that this tool was used. You can look at it and tell that it was used. But look at the quality of that. I mean, come on now. Look at that. Somebody put it on an impact, but it didn't, ch it didn't change it too much. Um, this is a very functional tool, um, and it's SK. You, I mean, SK in some regard is just as good as Snap-on, um, and you know, people may say what you will, but I, I know for a fact because I've been working with SK for a long time. So let's go ahead and put it on a ratchet and just, just kind of see uh, if we can get it to drop on there. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Positive. Positive fit. That beat up old socket fits on there like a glove on a, on a snap on a ratchet. So that's pretty freaking cool. Um, let's see here. Picked up, we're at 19 minutes, so this is going to be a long one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Picked up a pair of channel locks. Um, these are the uh, Lyman's pliers, I believe is the call. Um, they're going to get restored with the other pile of rent, uh, pliers I have. But that's the first time I find, found a pair of channel locks. And then lastly, I am going to do a restoration video. So you guys let me know if you think this is cool. But here's a snap-on uh, pocket knife. I believe it's like the 60-year or something like that commemorative tool or whatever. And it's got the little socket emblems here. And it's like the master's choice um, uh, statement on the back. But it is rusted beyond all compare. And I am going to attempt, attempt 
to restore this. Um, so we'll see if, if, if I if my skills are as good as I believe they to be. Um, so we're going to restore that sometime in future videos. But all right, guys, we're at 20 minutes. We're, we're far too long on this video. But just to show you that I picked up some stuff, constantly adding to the collection. Like I said before, um, I should have a new box in this weekend. We're going to go pick that up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to take you guys along on that video because I kind of want to wait till I unveil it when I get back to the uh, the shop. But we are going to move all of this into the new box. So stay tuned. As always, leave me a comment. I respond. Maybe not on time, but I do. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like this video. Shout out to Josh, Facebook Marketplace, for hooking it up with the Capri Ratchets. Shout out to CP Tool Addict for a great um, live stream last night. Uh, and thank you to all you guys who participate in our tool community and watch our videos, uh, you know, comment on our videos, take a time out of your day to even remotely give a crap about what it is that we are doing because we don't get paid. I don't get any compensation. No one, none of these smaller guys like me are getting any compensation. We literally do this just to kind of hang out and just have a, a guy moment with, with, you know, or whomever. Uh, just have a moment to just share um, a love for tools and mechanics and stuff like that. So hopefully you like the video. I know it's long as hell. I apologize. I'm out. Peace.